Close your eyes and watch your breath. The breath comes in, think but, breath goes out, think to, but, to. Try to stay right here with the breath. Make this the foundation for your mind right now. If you notice that your thoughts move away from this, we'll just move them right back. If your awareness or attention moves away, we'll bring it right back. If you want a good foundation, you have to learn how to stay with it and to, to build it so it's strong. The Buddha says there are basically four foundations for bringing about progress in your life. The first two are things that you've already done. You do have good karma from the past, and you do have <clears throat> you are living in a civilized country. Those are two things that are really important to have. It's something you can fall back on. But you can't fall back just on those, because we know a lot of people who have done good in the past and live in a civilized country end up doing a lot of damage to themselves. So we need the other two. The first is to associate with good people, people of integrity, people you can trust, so you can pick up their values. And the second is to set your life in the right direction. So you have to ask yourself, what direction are you focusing your life in right now? And those two things are, are related. You hang around with certain types of people, and they start telling you that this is the good life, and that's the good life, and this is what should, people should do and shouldn't do, and you start picking up their values, sometimes without even realizing it. So you have to look at who you're associating with. Make up your mind you want to associate with people that you can really trust, so you can pick up their values. And that helps you set your life in the right direction, because where do you want to go? As the Buddha said, we can go to good destinations, we can go to bad destinations, both in this lifetime and in lifetimes after this. So what kind of destination really is a good one? What can you take with you when you go on to the next one? Basically, the Buddha says you have four treasures. You have the treasure of your virtue, you have the treasure of having conducted yourself well with other people in areas outside of the precepts. You have your livelihood. Is your livelihood a good livelihood? And then finally, there are your views. Are your views right? Because if your views are wrong, they can send you off in all sorts of directions. So you want to make sure that you're aiming at, at the very least, not harming anyone, finding a happiness that's reliable and trustworthy. That doesn't require that you harm anybody else. doesn't require that you harm yourself. And that you are able to find, ultimately, find a way to put an end to suffering. That's the right direction in which you should aim your life. So you should ask yourself, the people I'm associating with, is that where they aim? How about myself? Is that where I aim? Look at where you're aiming your life. And if you see that you're heading off in the wrong direction, you've got the wrong target, we'll try to change the target. Change so it's the right direction, so that you're not causing anyone any suffering, you're not causing yourself suffering, you're not causing anyone else any suffering. And at the same time, you're developing those treasures you can take with you. Because in your lifetime, in next lifetime, you're also going to want to have good karma in your past. And right now is your past of the future. So what are you doing right now in terms of developing your views, developing your precepts, your behavior around other people, and your livelihood? These are the things that you really have to look carefully at. And for things you need to change, well, it's not too late to change. If you decide that you have to change the direction, okay, it's not too late to change. Just make sure that right now your direction is going in the right direction. This is one of the reasons why we stay with the breath. The breath is a good friend to stay with, because it's one of the things that alerts us when something wrong is going on in the mind, there's going to be something wrong in your breath. So it's a good friend to have. It helps keep you pointed in the right direction. So try to maintain this state of mind that's settled in right here, that can see things clearly for what they are and where they're going. So you can see yourself for what you are and where you're going. If it's going in the right direction, fine, maintain that. If not, well, it's never too late to change. <laughs>